Hey, welcome back to another Axe Family video. Hope you're doing well with a smile on your face because it's a beautiful day. We've got a little bit different topic for you today. We're going to talk about domesticated elk. So as we were uh, leaving our friend's house the other day, we drove by this property that he told us to check out and they had all these elk um, and they had a back pasture and a front pasture and in the front pasture with this like high fence there was a bunch of bulls and they're all in velvet and got these huge racks and everything and so we stopped and we took some took some pictures and some video and and we're just kind of checking them out and they, I mean they're beautiful animals um, every time I've been elk hunting or out in the wild and you come across elk like being in proximity with those animals in nature is just it's a fascinating experience and uh, they're kind of an elusive kind of like mystic animal in a way um, just because if you're not really paying attention you're not gonna see them because uh, a lot of times they'll wind you or something and they'll get out of there and so um, I, I enjoy elk hunting and I have a lot of respect for that animal and so I think um, domesticating them uh, this guy, from what we heard that our friend told us, he was basically raising, he is basically, or not basically, he is raising these elk uh, for, I think, two different purposes. One, um, our friend said that right before the antlers start to get hard, um, he'll actually saw off their antlers and he'll sell them for the velvet has a high value to it so you can sell that velvet and then the other reason why he chops them off is to to preserve them because as then they would get harder and lose the velvet and then the bulls would most likely fight with each other and, and damage the antlers so um, that's one reason and then the other reason like that he's raising them is he actually sells the meat and so elk meat is you know really good uh, Taylor and I have basically lived off of elk meat uh, the last four years or so and we never bought red meat for for the next three and a half years uh, because I think there were two different cow elks uh, that I shot that we were able to live off of and so that was really nice so yeah I, I've, I've seen some posts like online and some different um, forums and things talking about raising elk uh, domestically and people have different opinions on it i i don't have a a bad opinion about somebody that wants to raise them i think it's cool for people to be able to see them up close i do think that if um in some cases people will raise elk like that and then they'll put them out on this big property and then people will pay to come hunt them and you know they shoot these these elk there's some elk tracks right here actually but anyways people have these big private ranches and they'll put these domesticated elk out onto the ranch and they'll take the ear tags off and then somebody pays a lot of money to come hunt them and they shoot this animal that was you know basically a pet and then they have this big trophy picture with them and it's like these animals as you can see like they came right up to the fence you know they ate out of our hands and I was able to pet them like I there's one that I scratched him on the nose and and I just don't think that's hunting you know I think if you're gonna use it for meat then just shoot the animal but if you're gonna try to say that you um, went on a hunt and shot one of these animals then I would have a problem with that um, because in the wild you would never be able to get that close like that to an elk and hunting elk is it's not easy um, there's a challenge to it especially if you're bow hunting like I mean I have a lot of respect for bow hunters that can get into a big herd of elk and and shoot an elk um, that's, I haven't started archery hunting, um, but watching my brother do that, um, 
he's very talented, very skilled at hunting. So um, I have a lot of respect for guys that can get in on a big herd of elk. So yeah, I'm just kind of curious what what it is that you think. Uh, leave your comments down in the comment section down below. Leave your thoughts. So yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm curious what you guys think um, about that. And would you ever raise elk? You know, what if you're a hunter, what's your opinion? Um, have you ever done like a guided, guided elk hunt for elk that were domesticated? Um, yeah. It, it'd be interesting to see just start a conversation a civil conversation so because uh, I know it's a it's a controversial topic I think hunting in general is controversial and so yeah but we saw those elk the other day and I was able to get some pictures of them and and some video and um, it was just really cool cool experience to be that close to those animals and one thing I did notice is that those elk that were on the other side of the fence, um, they didn't smell like elk in the wild. Like um, my previous video, I, I was talking about how I smelt elk and there's just this, it's a, it's a smell that once you know what it is, you, you can't mistake it for anything else. And I was like, you know, feet away from those elk and the wind was blowing and I didn't smell them at all. Like they didn't really. So if you're new to the channel, my wife and I, uh, we are traveling full time right now. We're visiting a lot of our friends and family, but we also are camping with our rooftop tent on our truck. So we're camping out here right now, just spending some time in this location. Uh, we're close to Bryce Canyon National Park and we saw that yesterday it was really cool so if you if you're new push that subscribe button all the way in and then there's a bell if you click that you'll get notified we post new videos there's a big thumb war going on, on youtube right now so click that thumbs up button and we'll see you later hats off to you